introduce yourselves real quick? I'm Michael Levine. I'm the director of uh, the film. And I'm Michael Green. I'm the producer of the film. So um, it's making the film Sorry Matza and the American Dream is making its premiere here at the Atlanta Jewish Film Festival. Um, you saw it for the first time with an audience last night. What was that like for you? <laughs> uh, just uh, an incredible experience. I mean, I've been watching it for the last, you know, year basically on a, on a computer screen in a, in a dark room uh, so to see it with an audience and like such an amazing audience and to hear the reaction was just, just absolutely incredible. It was otherworldly this idea that Michael had six years ago is now being brought to life and being shown to the world. So how did the idea come to you to do this film? Um, about you know six years ago, and I lived in the neighborhood in the Lower East Side um, for years and walked by Strites. I had no idea that it was there. I knew of Strites, but didn't know that they were down there. One day I was walking by, just happened to kind of poke my head in the in the window where the ovens come right out almost to the sidewalk, um, and uh, looked inside. And one of the workers just pulled a hot matzah off the uh, off the line out of the oven, handed it to me out the window, so that I was in complete amazement and invited me inside. And I walked inside. And you're just transported to you know 1930s New York City. There's gears and levers and workers and rabbis cleaning all. And I had no idea what was going on, but I knew that there was a story uh, that needed to be told. And then four years later, I met Michael and told him my idea for this film. And, and he's I been said, I like this. A, uh, a tireless supporter and, and amazing. And you know, it's it's you know, it's come to life over over two years. So. So with the recent news of of Strites moving, um, how has that changed um, the film? Well, we're you know. It was a, a personal, a very, you know, it, was, it was hard news to take, and it's hard news for the family, for the workers, for everybody there. Um, and it's hard to know exactly how to adapt, but you know, in the end, we've kind of decided that the film is essentially staying intact as it is because what they've done at Strites for the last 90 years and the way the family's been committed to the neighborhood and to the work that they do there and to their work, that doesn't change. Um, you know, uh, there's an acknowledgement at the end, we're still figuring out exactly how we're going to do that, but. Um, but yeah, I mean the story and a lot, you know, the story remains the same. There, so. Where's the film going next? Um, the film, well, we've been, you know, fortunate enough to, to have a distributor pick up the films. So we're working with Benemsha Films, which is a wonderful distributor, and they've been so excited and so supportive. And we're going from here. We're going to be doing other festivals, um, and also we're opening theatrically now um, at the end of March in Florida. And uh, in uh, in Toronto, it looks like, and uh, other artists, and bring it to New York as well eventually. So yeah, we're just we're really excited. You know.